Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Monday, uh, the Monday of the fourth week of Advent. It's also December 21st, the first day of winter, the shortest day of the year. And uh, it's a great, uh, great thought there with this being the shortest day where the light seems to be uh, the dimmest. And, uh, you know, this year, this whole year of 2020 has been indeed a dark, a dark year. But today is the darkest of those days because after today, the light increases. So we can start today looking forward to a greater light, more illumination, the brightness of God's love uh, showering down on us at, in, at greater lengths each and every day moving forward. So let's uh, be joyful today as we anticipate in four days the coming of Christ, the celebration of his birth at Christmas. Our gospel reading today, again, filled with joy. Filled. This is the story of the visitation where our Blessed Mother uh, traveled in haste to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who at the uh, Annunciation was told by Gabriel that her cousin uh, was with child, uh, an older woman thought to be barren, and uh, this was her sixth month. So Mary went in haste, it says, to the hill country to visit her cousin. And upon her arrival, the infant in her womb, in Elizabeth's womb, leaped for joy at the sound of Mary's voice. I mean, if there's ever a case for pro-life in Scripture, it's right there. We see an unborn child leaping for joy, responding to the presence of God in the room. You know, from the womb into the room, there's life, there's uh, just the, the, the awareness that goes on in an unborn child. So you know, we celebrate that today as, as pro-life people. But the, the one thing about this morning's gospel that uh, kind of jumped out at me and, and I thought, wow, this is an opportunity for us. You know, we know that Mary lived in Jerusalem and she went, it says, in haste to the hill country of Judea to visit Elizabeth at Zechariah and Elizabeth's home. Now, that wasn't just a run down the block for Mary. <clears throat> There's many miles between Nazareth and the hill country of Judea. <clears throat> it probably took her at least three days, up to six days, to travel that far to visit with her, her pregnant cousin. And upon arrival, what does Elizabeth do? Elizabeth greets her in such a way to lift up this tired, road-weary cousin of hers, giving her that profound and beautiful blessing that only God could put in her heart and on her lips to say, you know, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And how is it that the mother of my Lord comes to visit me? I mean, that's two very profound and strange greetings that Mary received in a very short time. First, the greeting from Gabriel, announcing to her that she being asked to be the mother of God, and then her cousin calling her blessed, and the fruit of her womb blessed, and the mother of my Lord. So for us, what we can do, we, we encounter people every day. We encounter people coming and going in our daily affairs. We don't know how weary how road-weary they are from life. We do not know how tired, worn out they might be. We don't know how despondent they might be. But what if we, as bearers of the good news of Christ, what if we greeted everyone we encounter in such a way to lift them up, to give them a little joy, give them a little hope, give them a little 
uh, encouragement when we encounter people let us from this day forward brighten their lives give light to them through the good news of the gospel greeting someone with a smile with joy in our hearts with true uh, you know, commitment to understanding and recognizing that Jesus created all of us and there's a little piece of Jesus in everyone we meet. So when we greet anyone and everyone, we should greet them in such a way that it would be an encouragement, an uplifting message from us in our greeting. No dour, grumpy greetings, but filled with joy, filled with happiness, filled with hope. So if we can do that, then indeed our days will be brighter. The person we greet, their day will be brightened through the grace of God. Let us pray our evening prayer together. And I hope that uh, later on tonight the, the, the skies stay clear and we can observe this wonderful uh, bright star in the sky tonight. It's actually Saturn and Jupiter converging so that their light shines as one and uh, it's supposed to be a magnificent bright light in the sky tonight sort of like the christmas star so hopefully our, our skies will be clear and we can all get out it's supposed to be in the southern sky so uh, let's all go out and, and gaze at that bright light that like and just think of it as as the christmas star tonight let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See how glorious he is, coming forth as Savior of all peoples. I'm sorry, I think I'm still on Sunday, and I am. Let me update my breviary. As I'm doing this, um, let me um, remind you again that uh, uh, this app on our phone that we can have for free is uh, my tool for, for sharing evening prayer with you every day. The iBrevery app, I, the letter I, and then the word brevery, B-R-E-V-I-A-R-Y. Uh, it contains all the prayers of the church. It, it gives you the daily readings for Mass and many other prayers. So it's a, it's a lovely uh, uh, app, and there's no ads on it, and there's no cost to it. Uh, so I encourage all of you, if you don't have it already, to... Uh, to get the iBrevery app for your phone, and uh, you'll have, you know, opportunity to, to tap into the prayers of the church at any given moment along the day, all of your days. Here we are. Now we're on Monday. My bad. I'm sorry. Let us begin again. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come blessed. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever. Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever. Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever, the sun to rule the day, and for his love endures forever, and the moon and the stars by the night, 
for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. Sing a new song to the Lord. Proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit. Free us today from sin and give us a share in your inheritance. Sing a new song to the Lord. Proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. When the Son of Man comes to earth, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? Praise be the God and Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He has He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When the Son of Man comes to earth, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. Stop passing judgment before the time of the Lord's return. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and manifest the intentions of hearts. At that time, everyone will receive his praise from God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation, your mercy and love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your mercy and love. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, sun of justice, come shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers. Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, sun of justice, come, shine on those who dwell in darkness, in the shadow of death. We humbly pray to Jesus Christ, who rescues us from the darkness of sin, and in faith we cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, gather together all the people of the earth and establish with them your everlasting covenant. Come, Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you came of old to take away the sin of the world. Purge us from the dregs of our guilt. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to recover what was lost, Come once again, your mercy, lest you punish what you have recovered. Come, Lord Jesus. Our faith seeks you out. Let us find everlasting joy with you when you come. Come, Lord Jesus. You will judge the living and the dead. Graciously gather the dead into the ranks of the blessed. Come, Lord Jesus. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. May we who celebrate the birth of your Son as man rejoice in the gift of eternal life when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all. God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful, restful night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Christmas is getting close. God bless. Good night. See you tomorrow.